Certainly top of mind today, sea level rise and the threat of climate change is an ongoing threat. And city leaders from all over the region are working to find some solutions. But if you take a look back, it wasn't that long ago. Most of us weren't talking about it at all. Philip Townsend has the story new at 530. Today we talk about it a lot. Climate change conference. From climate change. Take climate change, change seriously. Big emphasis on climate change. He's pushing. Yeah, it's still wrapped up in politics, but the overall consensus, at least here in Hampton Roads, is that the threat of climate change is real and fast approaching. Few cities at higher risk than Norfolk, where sea levels are rising at a rate three times the global pace. But let's go back to 1990. Educating and encouraging the public to be mindful of their environment. Sure, we talked about things like planting trees and getting rid of litter, but conversations about the environment were, for the most part, generic. In fact, it wasn't until 1996 that we first started mentioning global warming on the 6 o'clock news locally. This is the second year we seem to have gone directly from winter to summer, with little or no spring in between. But is there a scientific reason for it? Scientists at Hampton's NASA Langley Research Center say global warming, the atmospheric blanket of man-made gases that traps heat close to the Earth, could be one factor. That's despite this quote from one of NASA's top researchers in 1988, telling the U.S. Senate, there's a cause and effect relationship with global warming. We're causing it, and it's changing our climate. Most of us just didn't get it back then. But we're seeing it in real time today with our own eyes. And with that comes new perspective. On Monday, we learned kids today who are still alive in the year 2100 are going to experience four times more climate extremes than they do now. That's according to a new United Nations report. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.